Hey everybody, this is AJ Hansen from LevelUpYourGuitar.com. In today's video, we are going to learn how to play the James Bond theme. It's a little bit simplified version, so that it's simple in this level 2 range that we're in right now. But it's a great song, it's all, like 75% of it is played on the low E string. So it's easy to manage that way, but another interesting part of it is it's mostly the same idea or the same theme with little variations and that's very important for a lot of music you're going to play later where it's basically the same idea but you're going to have these little twists and turns that can make it challenging to remember how to play and you may as well get used to that early on so also when we get to the end make sure you stick around because i've got a little bonus at the end of this video and before we start, I just want to say thank you for supporting Level Up Your Guitar by subscribing, hitting the bell notification, and checking the links in the description below. I appreciate it. Now, let's dive in. The first note is the low E string open. That would be the sixth string. So you're going to play that one time. And then the middle finger will play the second fret two times. So just in that first half of the first measure, we have 0, 2, 2. Now the next three notes are back to the open string. So the whole first measure will go as such. Now that second two, you'll need to hang on to that a little longer because if you look at the standard notation up above, there's a little curved line, makes it look like a smiley face. But there's a little curved line and telling you that the note is actually longer. So zero, two, two, feel how that goes a little longer. So now going on to the second measure, we land on the second fret again, same string followed by the third fret two times. So we have two, three, three. It's the exact same rhythm. And then it also goes back to three twos. So measure two, we have two, three, three, two, two, two. So I'll go back to measure one and play through measure two. And one more time. On to the third measure, we have the same as the first measure. Zero, two, two, hold it just a little longer, followed by three, zeros. And the fourth measure, it's very similar to the second measure, but if you look at the end, there's one less two. In fact, you just hold the, the last one a little longer. So it's two, three, three, two, two. Play that again. measures one through four. So you've got that 
longer to right at the end. On to the second line, same as the first measure and the third. Now the sixth measure, we have two, three, three. So again, nothing different there, but now we have three, two, zero. I'll play that again, measures five and six. that. Two, three, 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 two, zero. That's, again, the third variation of the theme. So measures one through six. Now to cover the last two measures, 7 and 8, we're going to jump to the D string, string 4, with our middle finger on the 2nd fret, and then it's going to go to the open string on the D, D string. So we have 2, 0. Now this has like two smiley faces up in the standard notation, so this is an even longer tied note. So take your time with this, let it breathe, and then we're going to go to string 5, fret 2, open on the 5th string, and then back down on the 2nd fret. And this one is a whole note, so you'll play for 4 beats. It'll be your longest note in this entire theme song. So the last two measures, 2-0, two, hold it, 2-0-2 two, two on string 5. All right, I will go through measures one through eight. the end of the theme but I talked about a little bonus part at the end and that's like what I call the chord specifically it's a E minor major 7 or E minor major 7 add 9 that's a big algebra equation don't worry about it it just sounds like the ultimate spy chord so it's this one right here and it is kind of stretchy so it will be not only is it a bonus but it'll be a challenge so Let's build it from the skinny string up. So we'll take our middle finger and place it on the first string, second fret. Now take your pointer finger and put it on the D string, second fret. So that's finger one on string four, fret two. So we've got our outer shell of our two second fret notes on string one and string four. Now we're going to add our pinky. This is going to get a little stretchy, so be patient with it. You will get it. So stretch the pinky to string two, fret four. So, so far we've got two, two on both sides there, and then pinky on string two, fret four. Now make sure you have your fingers as curled as possible. In another video I talked about making your fingers nice and arched, make them look like the McDonald's sign. Because you need the third string to ring open. And if you're a little flat, you're gonna block it. We don't want that. We want that nice and clear. So just you can check the chord by playing it one string at a time just check and see if there's anything muted. If you get the first string muted or if your first finger's too flat, you might hear those muted notes. Then you know to just arch your fingers a little bit more. And this is one of the hard parts of playing guitar. Your margin of error 
is very small. So sometimes it just takes a little shift like that, just pushing your knuckles out so that you can get that nice curl. And then you get up and over all the strings that you need to. So there's our ultimate spy chord, the minor major nine chord. Playing the whole thing one more time to recap. And that effect you're hearing is tremolo. If you don't have it, don't worry about it. Just leave, a, leave your pickup on either a middle or a bridge setting. So I have mine set on the middle. Or if you're playing on an acoustic guitar, just pluck it maybe a little bit further back. You'll get that bright twangy sound. Thanks for watching this lesson on the James Bond theme. To recap, we covered how to play the notes, mostly in frets two and three. We covered holding notes longer. Those are tied notes, and you can see what those look like up in the stair notation. They look like a little smiley face, the two notes connected by the curve line. So watch for those so you know when to hold the note a little bit longer. And then we also covered our bonus of the minor major nine chord, the ultimate spy chord. I'm glad you found it helpful. And if you have any more questions, leave them in the comments section down below and give the video a like. And before you take off, please hit the subscribe button as it helps the channel out massively. Hit the bell notification so you know the moment you can play your next song. And check the links for sheet music and other ways to stay in touch in the description down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time and keep playing. In the description below, you'll see a link to levelupyourguitar.com. This website has a full range of digital courses that can improve your guitar playing significantly. Not only do we have programs on how to play your chords and bar chords better and more effortlessly, how to play the basics through advanced level guitar playing the right way, we also have information on how to play more genres like rock, blues, classical, jazz, metal, folk, and many more to come. You can even book one-on-one -on -one time. On top of this, we also have the Level Up Your Guitar Great Hall which is a subscription service that allows you to have access to other like-minded musicians around the world. With over 50 people already in the Level Up Your Guitar Great Hall, you have 24-7 access to me and a pool of other aspiring guitarists like you which can ensure that you learn to play what you love as quickly as possible. If you have any further questions on any of the courses, there's an individual video next to each one on the sales page. It's time to level up your guitar.